hi all welcome back to my channel and today it's not a review video but a review you can call it a review video because we visited a place we just loved it and want to experience uh, share hi, our everybody. experience yeah uh, hi everybody my mother has booked a really nice hotel i'm the queen i demanded this and we are in the best of pee place you have ever seen try it out but although if you don't have time to try out you may at least uh, enjoy looking at it <laughs> okay so i wanted to share this awesome experience although this is the second time i have visited udupi but every, uh, last time we had seen the malpe beach because malpe beach is the first thing that comes to everyone's mind when you go to your udupi but then this time we got to explore a beautiful serene quiet no people at all the beach uh, it's it's called the delta beach road you can find backwaters and at the same time ocean so you 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 get one, you get to see backwaters on one side of the road and on the other side you get to see the huge ocean with with absolutely no one on the beach we can find beautiful big shells so so on all the different kind of beaches we found lots and lots for my auntie pummy and we went on a huge boat and i'm the queen so mummy yeah did it all for me and i'm a demanda <laughs> okay as you can see on one side there is a beach and on the other side there is backwaters and also there is a boating facility if you would like to boat uh, go on, on go boating on the backwaters you can also find some um, nice beach resorts and it's a very quiet place you can hard you can you can actually find no people at all uh, so when i went there i we were the only ones on the beach and it's quite serene it's, um, and very very happy place to be in um, if you're someone who don't like crowd and want the whole beach to be yours i think this is the place you have to head to i'm going to share the location also in the description box kind of self is that uh, the whole beach is yours but still uh, it's nice uh, so for some peace and quiet uh. right as she rightly told for some for some peace because um, especially we going to these places from the metro cities i think if you want some peace i think this is the place you have to head to and also my brother has been tra has been traveling us and he's been southy so i think we'll at least have some peace and quiet here i mean he is too much a little bit over the acting he is okay so as you can see it's a beautiful um, this is backwaters actually and on the other side is the beach is the big ocean and you can also find some houses there they are really nice they they do rent out so you can try some luck there too but uh, we stayed in manipal inn and it's a beautiful hotel so next time you want to stay in udupi i think you should try manipal inn and there is it's a three star uh, um, hotel and the breakfast table is uh, superb and uh, my daughter used to just wait for the breakfast every day every day i enjoyed the eating my breakfast because they had donut some fruits watermelon and even watermelon juice i love watermelon juice more than anything else okay and this any is any other drink and this is just 13 kilometers from manipal in on nh26 i think i'm going to share the location so you can easily find the place when you go to udupi next time so i would also want to tell you the um, um you know itinerary we did and i think we enjoyed the most it uh, every, the place was sorted and uh, hmm, what do you see the whole trip was awesome because everything was sorted and everything was so good for example we traveled by car um early in the maybe around um, 12 o'clock in the night and on the way we went to dharmasthala and reached uh, the manipal in around uh, 2 pm we got late because uh, there was a huge tra traffic on the way 
um, even though it was COVID times. But yes, we reached there around 2 p.m. We checked into Manipal in hotel. My grandma loves uh, um, this God place. I don't know how we call it. And my father has been driving the whole night. So in the morning at the right time, I told my mother and grandmother that we'll have to start clapping when it's the correct time. And then I explained my dad. He was all confused. Okay, so as I told you, like uh, we reached the Manipal in hotel around 2 p.m. Uh, although 12 p.m. is the check-in time, but we reached there late. Late, uh, But as soon as we checked in, I think we were just amazed by the uh, rooms there. Um, so we had taken a double, uh, um, double room, a deluxe room, and it was too good. If you want me to share the uh, um, inside uh, uh, video of the Manipal Inn, please uh, do write in. I'll be happy to share. And after that, um, in fact, this uh, Stella Mary's Church is just around uh, two to three, two kilometers from the Manipal Inn. And also, you can find the famous uh, Timapa Fish Hotel just uh, a walk away, maybe not even one minute, two minutes walk, that's it. So every time you want to have lunch, I think you can head to Timapa Hotel. And trust me, if you're a fish lover, you, you're you going to love it. And um, and also, guys, we went into a beautiful big hotel. It's kind of like a luxury hotel. So I think... Uh, you may want to ask my mother to send you the photos because it was amazing. Write down in the comments which hotel would you book. Okay, and uh, for the lunch will be sorted if you are a fish lover. You can head to Timapa Hotel. And at the same time, um, in Manipal Inn, you have Udupi Upahar. If you are a veggie, yes, you f will find some... Uh, cool food, the super delicious thalis for just 95 rupees and and uh, special thalis for 150. So your lunch will be sorted. Anyways, breakfast you are sorted because the hotel provides uh, um, uh, super breakfast with all the juices, milkshakes, donuts, five to six varieties of breakfast, whatnot, coffee, tea, everything, almost everything. So you are sorted for your breakfast, your lunch. Um, and just the dinner and dinner also you can have it at Woodpi Upar down and the rates are not costly at all for example I can tell you that um, a veg fried rice costs you just 170 rupees which is uh, um, in fact lesser than the hotels outside um, I I know I have bought a veg fried rice even for 250 rupees whereas in Woodpi Upar it is just um, 170 rupees and you have the gobi manchurian uh, for just 200 rupees so the rates, rates are quite reasonable so you can finish your dinner there so yes um, you can visit these places you can check in in manipal hotel and uh, i forgot to tell you the malpe beach is just four kilometers from the manipal inn and you have this place which i'm sharing you right now which is just 13 kilometers it is in the center, so when you check in in Manipal Inn, you can visit all the places like the Stella Maris, uh, Maris uh, Church, the world famous, it is equal to Velankini, and then Malpe Beach, Malpe Fish Market, almost everything. So yes, next time when you head to Woodpe, don't forget and visit these places. Isn't Woodpe beautiful? Isn't it more beautiful than Bangalore? Although... My favorite part was about saw collecting. There were even different colors. I think if you want that's, to collect saws, please collect. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching. Please mm -hmm. do subscribe. Hit the bell button. Comment down. Bye-bye. Have a great day.